In this lesson, we are going to implement add to cart action. When user select a product, set the quantity, and click add to cart, the cart item here should change and user should be redirected to cart screen. In this lesson, we focus on add to cart action and updating the cart badge in the header menu. And for next lesson, we implement cart screen. Let's get to code. Here is the plan to implement add to cart action. First of all, in the store.js, we need to extend the reducer function for two actions. The first action is getting uh, is sending a request to get cart information from commerce.js and the second one is uh, getting the result of uh, retrieving cart information. What I'm going to do here is to create the first case when the action is cart retrieve request. I set loading to true for cart but don't change the other data in the state and this one is cart retrieve success and it happens after getting data from cart object in commerce JS API. I set loading to false and set data to action dot payload. Let's define cart retrieve request and success in constant.js. Inside utils folder, right click new file and set file name to constants.js. We need to define two constants that we have used in store.js and we need to import them right here like this. Great. Let's go for the next step, open layout. And inside layout function, what I'm going to do is to use use context hook to get the state and dispatch using this line of code. And after that, I'm going to get card from state. Then create a use effect. And inside use effect, I define fetch card. And inside fetch card function, first of all, I get commerce instance from commerce.js and dispatch this action set cart retrieve request is set loading to true and then run this command to get cart information from commerce js api and put them in cart data after that i dispatch another action and set payload to cart data so in the store.js at this point the data inside cart contains all information returned from cart object in commerce.js. Great. Let's import use effect from react, get commerce from utils.js, cart retrieve item. I'm using controller space to auto import them. Great. Next step in the navigation menu, replace cart with this conditional rendering. If cart.loading, I show a circular progress it's a component from material UI to show a loading box. And if cart.data.total items is greater than zero, I use a badge component from material UI to show a badge. Otherwise, I just show cart text. Good. In the layout, I scroll up and import use context here and also store from com component slash store and get commerce. Uh -huh. Here is the result. You have cart and I, I, and I have two items in the cart. Good. Let's go to id.js and implement add to cart action here. First of all, get rid of console.log and create an instance of commerce object. Import get commerce. Next step is going to be getting line item using this path cart.data.lineItem. But what is cart? To get the cart, we need to use the same code in layout.js. This code. Copy this and paste it right after classes. So in the line items, I'm searching for a product that its ID equal to product. I use a condition here. If line item exists, it means that the product that I'm going to add to the cart 
already is in the cart. So what I'm gonna do is to update that item but change the quantity to the quantity that user selected in the select box and then update the cart by the data that returns by the update API and redirect user to the cart screen to finish payment. The else part. In the else part, what I'm gonna do is to just add using cart.add the product and the quantity that user selected to the shopping cart and then dispatch cart retrieve success to update the cart and redirect user to cart screen. I'm going to comment this and this because I'm gonna check the result in this screen because there is no cart screen anymore. But at the end of this lesson, I'm gonna comment out them. Good. Let's import use context, import store. Okay, let's try that. I'm gonna add four item from iPhone 12 and add it to cart. As you see, it's changed. Let's do that for another product, iPhone SE. And I'm gonna add three iPhone SE added to cart. The cart changed from five to eight. Great. We implemented add to cart feature in this screen. Let's update the page title here. It's home. It should be the name of product in the title. Set it to product dot name. And here is iPhone SE. It's very important for SEO. Great. That's it for this lesson. We implemented add to cart feature. For next lesson, we are going to implement cart screen. Before finishing this lesson, let's comment this out and import router from next slash router. When you click on add to cart, you will be redirected to cart screen and it's an error because we didn't implement this screen. For next lesson, we are going to implement that. Until that lesson, bye-bye.